In this video, we will learn what Google Forms are and we will create one from scratch step by step. Google Forms is a cloud-based form solution by which you can easily create and share forms and surveys online. You can also analyze responses in real time. The good things about Google Forms is it is as easy to use as its UI. They are simple to set up and easy to share and later analyze. They have a free plan so literally it is as easy as signing in using your Google account and start creating these forms. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to get updates to more videos like this one. With that said, let's jump straight into it. To create a Google form, go to google.com slash forms or copy the link from the video description, then paste it in a new tab. Click on the go to forms button to sign in. After signing in, you can use the plus button to create a new blank form or you can use one of the templates visible here or you can visit the templates gallery by clicking this plus button. You can choose from a lot of templates that have been provided to you from Google. In this video, we will create a new form from scratch. So we will use the plus sign to create a new blank form. In this screen, you can see that you can create your form from the question screen. Then you can see the responses from the middle tab. And finally, there are settings in the third tab. Let's first create a form. In this blank form, the first thing we will do is to give it a title. Then we add some description to the form telling what is it about. Then we add our first question. We click on the question section and add the first question in the free text field over here. You can also add an image to a question using the image button next to the question text. After that, we use the drop down to select what type of an answer this question would have. For example, we have selected a short answer and this gives us a single line free text box. From the controls down in the question box, you have the option to duplicate the question to speed things up. You can use the delete button to delete the particular question. You can also use the required toggler to mark this question as required. If you toggle the required field to on, this will make sure that the user is not able to submit the form without answering this question. Now we know how to set up a question. Let's look at the different answers you can create from questions. We have seen the short answer, so we will jump to the paragraph. As the name suggests, similar to the short answer, this answer type has more text space for the user to write the response. The next type is a multiple choice. You can fill your answers as questions and then you can fill the text for that option. You can also add an image to the option by using the image button next to the option. Finally, you can click on the add other option if you want the users to select that. They will be presented with a free text box next to the other option. Another answer type is checkboxes. You can add checkboxes if you want to give the user the option to select multiple options. A question with checkboxes would look like this. The next answer type is a drop down. Drop downs have options inside them. So when a user clicks on the drop down, they will be presented with the option from which the user will select. Next comes the linear type answers, which is like a scale of numbers and these can range from 0 to 10. You can also add labels to the scale values telling the user what the value means. An example would be something like how satisfied you are after watching this video. 0 being I will never see this video again and 5 being you've made our lives better. Let me know your responses in the comments down below. Next is the multiple choice grid in which you have a question at the top and then every row represents a sub question and users will select the most appropriate answers. Similar to that we have a checkbox grid which does the same thing as the multiple choice grid but in this one the users get checkboxes so that the users can select more than one answer per row. We also have a date and time answer which have restrictions to what you can enter. So for example, if you are keen to know the date of birth of the user, present them with a date answer type. And if you have some time related questions, the time option would be a handy thing to have. Apart from that, we have this floating options next to the questions which can be used to add a bunch of different stuff like adding questions, image, video and even splitting your form into different sections. Let's see what you have in the responses section. When you have shared your form with your users, you will be getting responses back and you will see them in the responses section over here. Only you would be able to see the responses section and your readers will not be able to see this section. When you want to close a form and don't want to accept any more responses, use the toggle button to turn off and after that your users won't be able to submit any response. Let's see how you can customize our form and change colors and fonts. 
For that, let's click on this customize theme button on the top and from the right hand menu, you can change the theme of your Google form. You can give your form some style by adding a background image. This image could be your business brand image or something related to the form. From the color palette, you can click and choose from one of the colors or you can add your own custom color and this will change the colors of your Google form. Separate to the theme color, you can have a background color which are ideally shades of the theme color selected. And finally, using the font dropdown, you can choose one of the fonts that Google Forms offer. Let's see how we can preview this form. Using the i button on the top, you are able to get a preview of what you are about to send to your users. Make sure you've gone through the questions and options and you've corrected everything before you send your form to your users. Finally, when you are ready, use the send button to view the options available. You can send this Google form via email. You can have a comma separated values of the recipients in the two column. Give it a subject, message, and when you're ready, click the send button. Alternatively, you can use this link button to copy the link to this Google form. You can then share this link via email, Facebook, WhatsApp, or any other text sharing platform. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. I hope you liked it. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and let me know your valuable comments in the comment section below. Doing that helps the channel grow and helps me create more videos like this one. I hope you have a wonderful day. I will see you all in the next one.